Okay guys, it's me, Christy Lee again, coming back with the follow-up video for the unboxing video that I just shot. I'm going to start off, <clears throat> excuse me, just showing you guys these two uh, Golden Jubilee 50, 50 pence pieces. <clears throat> they both have a different design on them. Very cool. Um, I was just trying to look them up online to find out a little bit more about them. Eric said that when he looked them up, they are um, nickel. Um, when I looked it up, it seemed like some of them were nickel, some of them were silver. Uh, but it doesn't matter to me. They are still beautiful coins. I might change them out of the capsules only because, you know, I like perfection sometimes. <laughs> and that one does have a little crack there, so I might put it in a new capsule, but... Very, very pretty pieces. I like the mirror finish. And I really like the, um, I don't know what you call these. I would call that a staff and something else, but I don't know. The crown. Very, very cool. Then we have the maple leaf, which is going to be my one and only maple leaf. Um, I'm glad to finally have one in my collection, so thank you again. Very cool. I actually really like that leaf, too. I feel like the ones that we have don't look like that. Or the ones that Eric have now. I've got my own. <laughs> Alright, and then this one I, I haven't looked up yet. But Eric did say that he um, saw them online. That's pretty cool. And I've heard this name, Chris Kyle. I've heard this name. Can't remember exactly where I've heard it or why I've heard it. But yeah, that's that's an interesting one there. And then Eric said that this was a mint state. Let me see if I can get a little closer. It's beautiful. And I love this little capsule. Now Eric wants to go get some for our dimes. Very, very, very nice. And then these, um, Eric said, were silver. I thought they kind of looked and felt like it, but I wasn't sure. So these are the 1962 pesos. I'm trying to get detail. But it's not cooperating. <clears throat> Too much light, sorry. So yeah, that's awesome. I'm excited about that. Look how pretty. Interesting portrait too. So we're going to put those in two by twos at the house. Oh, did I forget something down here? Oh yes, I did, of course. The Noah's Ark. I think it's the, just the plastic that's scratched up maybe. Yes, this is one of my all-time favorite silver round coins. So pretty. That's awesome. Thank you. Where's the year? There's not a year. Is it upside down? Yeah. <laughs> Very pretty. And then... These are um, some of the other silver coins that he sent. We got several Canadian dimes and quarters. And I think I only had in my collection one silver dime. And I didn't even know it was silver. For years and years and years I had it. And I didn't know it was silver because I thought that Canada stopped their silver production the same year that we stopped ours. So, I believe 68 in Canada was the last year that they produced silver coinage, um, silver pocket change. Um, so, lots of that. Amazing. Why is, does some of them have him and some of them have her? Is that how that... Oh, don't fall. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's a 43. Oh, wow. Ching, ching, ching. Which one's this one? That's a 62 or 63. I can't tell. 
Yeah, so, okay, let's look at some of these foreign coins. All right, so first up, we have a 1902. I'm not sure what it is. I like the wreath. It's 20 somethings. I don't know why, like, I can't read through the camera. So if it says something that I'm not seeing, yeah, that's cool. This one I like a lot. 1923. 50 centimeters. Cent times. Bon pour. I'm going to have to research all of these, but I just wanted to show you guys. Two and a half. 1870. Good lord. What was that one? Yeah, 1923. 1870, two and a half. I love seeing that they made half coins. I think that's really cool. Here is a 52 Canadian cent. Love the copper cents. You guys know that. And this 1918. Five something. I like that design too. Sorry my nail polish is all chewed off and everything. And I'm super hungry so you might hear my stomach growling in the background. <laughs> um, that looks like kind of like a bird on another coin I had uh, recently got. What is Does that say 1875? Oh my gosh. 1875. It looks like it might be German. Penning. That's really cool. I like that. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. 1921. Look at that. Very simplified design, but it's cool. Nice. What's that? Who is that? 1930. Grand Duchess, I'm guessing. Five centimeters, centimes. I love the little star there. I like that that's different on both sides. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the one that I really like. The pattern, 63, two shillings. I like that. That's really pretty. Is that like a shield? 50, finning, finning. 1917, oh my gosh. Wow, I wonder if that's German as well. That's cool. Can't read it, but it's cool. 1933. I guess something to do with a labor force or something. I'll have to look it up. This is cool. Coin with a square in it, I'm guessing. Sorry about that, my camera stopped recording because I ran out of memory had to go and delete some older stuff so I'm going to figure out where that's from here are those things I showed you but I can't really see what they are 1850 oh that's different I think it's different no maybe not were these dug I just saw that um, that you put up a video of metal detecting, so I'm curious if any of these are from any of your metal detecting digs. That's really cool. I like that. That feels nice in my hand. <laughs> Such a weirdo sometimes. Alright, so this is 
one something from 1925. Love that design. Very cool. This looks to be copper, maybe. What's well, another a two and a half from 1908? Huh. So cool. Mm. 1908 as well. And that's two. Sorry if I'm not going into as much detail in my speech because there's still quite a bit and um, I want to get it all in. Ten filling, finnings from 1917. I'm assuming German. Wow. I feel like you gave me like a huge part of your collection and I kind of, I kind of feel bad like I don't, I don't know like I'm so happy and so thankful and this is amazing but I I don't know if like you gave away gave you know sent me things that you've had for a long time that were a big part of your collection that maybe I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say but it's awesome. Oh, that's another one of them. Um, 1855. Wow. I'm just blown. Oh, it's smaller. Oh, i got to figure out what these are. Oh. 1920. I like the little hole in there. I think those are co so cool. The ones that have holes in them. Ooh, I think I saw this one in one of the treasure box. Oh, no, I didn't. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Like a flying... I love the, the ladies on um, coins. And that is just beautiful. It's just like flying. Wow. What is that? Oh, it's like a flower. It looks like a magnolia, maybe? It's that guy again. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I just can't believe this. I love that portrait. Oh, we just saw something like this, didn't we? I like that. I like them all. Oh, here's one that's made out of a weird feeling material. That like phoenix looking bird, sort of. Ten finnings. Wow. 1924. Ten somethings. Hmm. Henry George. Five cents Canadian. 1932. I've never seen one that looks like this. That's really neat. What's this one? 1855. He needed a haircut. Very cool. Sorry, like I said, I'm, I'm not putting as... I'm not going to talk about each one of them as much as I previously did. Uh, just to save on time. Very cool. I might put those on a chain. <laughs> Eighteen ninety four. My gosh, ten filler. Hmm. I gotta figure out where all of these come from, and I can't wait. I love the lion. Nineteen sixteen. Ten cents. Wow. So much history. One finning. Nineteen fifteen. I love this bird. It's awesome. Which way's up? Oh, it's a lion. <laughs> I thought I saw a dinosaur in there. One cent from 1915. Very cool. Still shaking, you guys. As you can probably tell. What is this? What is this guy? I don't know. I can't tell. 1970. Or 1878. Oh my gosh. Oh, my neck. Five cents from 1916. 
1916. Where did you get all these? 1924, 50 centimes. How long, I mean, where, how long have you had some of these? I would love to know, like, if you remember where you got them and how long you've had them. And 1826, it looks like. I mean, this is really cool. I mean, you live here in the States. So I'm wondering, like a lot of my foreign coins um, came from family going on vacations or things like that, or uh, recently we've been buying them. 1895. This is crazy. I like the lines in that. One cent. Love my pennies. 1905. Wow. And here's the, the Indian head that he sent. I have my own Indian head now. Look at me. And this is the bill. And I was just trying to figure out if this is like a date. And was that written on? Or is that just how the bill is made? I'm not sure. But yes, this is insanely awesome. Thank you again, Jeremiah. I can't thank you enough. I don't know how, like there's no way I can thank you. And then the wood in here. I'm really excited to start decorating with that. And I missed something in the box when I was doing the unboxing. Um, so thank you for that also. Alright, I'm going to put all this gorgeousness up so I don't lose anything. And thank you once again. And thank you everyone for always being here. For always, you know, bringing such um, happy moments to my, my days. I really enjoy having you guys in my life. So thank you. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.